this is the, the big day in our year, uh, just like it was last week, of course, with the A-level results, but this with GCSE, we've got many students on tenderhooks waiting to see how they've done. And of course, this year is more nervous than probably many years we stood here uh, because of the changes that have taken place to GCSEs. They're harder, they're certainly more challenging examinations as well, greater content. So we've been very concerned this year about how our students will be able to cope with the additional pressures and challenges of GCSEs. The really fantastic news is our students have risen to that challenge extraordinarily well. We've got a great set of results, both for the individual students looking across the board, but also as a school. What we see now is the standards have been upheld from the previous years where we've had a really excellent result, and we're delighted. I'm really happy. Very happy with our results. Yeah, really happy. I got nine in drama, eight in music, seven in RS. 8 in history, 9 in maths, 8 in biology, 9 in chemistry, 9 in physics, 7 in English and A star in Italian. And I got all 9 in all of my subjects. I've done really well, I'm really pleased with what I got. I felt like I put in quite a lot of hard work, so I'm really pleased with the end results. And I felt like the teachers were a lot of help with uh, helping me achieve what I did get. So for like, for example, French, I felt like I was struggling a lot, but with the help that the teachers gave me, I did really well and I ended up getting an eight, being really close to a nine, so I'm really personally pleased with that, uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, really pleased with it, uh, you know, makes all the hard work worth it, so you know, really happy with it all, so I couldn't be happier really. Uh, I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do, uh, so yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with what I got. I definitely did better than I expected to do. Yeah, same here. It wasn't that I didn't think I was going to get it. It was just I really I wanted it so bad. It was the only result where I was like, if I don't get a nine, I'm going to be so disappointed. So I worked so hard for that, and I'm just so proud of myself for getting it. Yeah, I'm really happy about an eight in history, and I thought I didn't pass it, so I'm happy. I think definitely like the teachers at our school are like, very supportive and definitely helped us get um, put a lot of effort into the school um, and the, the lessons that we did and did a lot of revision sessions with us which really, really helped us. I think um, they sort of let us focus a lot about the areas we need to improve on so we weren't always doing the same kind of thing. So I feel like that really helps. All the teachers are really helpful so they didn't make you feel stressed or under pressure at any point, so yeah, it's been really good. We were always pushed to go and get our highest results and do what the best that we can. You could tell all the teachers wanted you to really do well. And that's what I was going to say, that's what helped me with mine. It was the support of the teachers and my parents and just everyone was so supportive. Everyone telling you you can achieve it yeah. as well. Uh, I'm going to the sick form here where I'm doing English, psychology and business. Um, staying on for uh, sixth form here, um, so I will be doing German, French, English language and maths. So languages are something that I'm passionate about and I feel like the teachers here are really good, so I'm really pleased. About 83% of our students, we think, will go on to the sixth form and that's a great option for them. We have an extraordinary sixth form here. Last week's results show that. We had results well, well above national averages. You know, over 60% of our students got a score grades at B and above. We've got students going on to leading universities, both here and abroad, and we're delighted with how our students do in the sixth form. So we expect the majority of our students from year 11 who've made that grade to go on to the sixth form and be successful there. And today's an exciting day because it's, yes, it's GCSEs, but that's just the start of a new beginning. It's a really exciting time seeing them making that transition to sixth form, starting new courses and starting to flourish in that new, more adult environment of the sixth form. Personally, I already know the teachers quite well and I feel like I'm going to get the right support staying here. I feel comfortable and I feel like having that, no, being sure that you're going to get a good education and have a good time is really important when you're moving up to a higher level of education. Um, pretty much the same thing and as well, uh, Harrogate Grammar is a language specialist school and I really want to do well in my languages. So knowing the teachers and that as well is why I've chosen to be here.
There will always be some students who are disappointed on results day. And their results aren't what they hoped for. And our job is to look after them today. And there's lots of things we can do. Uh, if they're looking to our sixth form, sometimes about adjusting the offer of courses they can do, and sometimes about pursuing things elsewhere. And our careers officer is here today to give advice. So it might be going into apprentice route, or it might be going to a college course in which you can really meet their skills and allow them to have a second chance. But there is always something we can do, and there's no need for students to panic. But we will help them find the next stage for them in their learning and in their progress. Absolutely delighted. Uh, absolutely delighted as an institution because we look at it and think, yes, I think we've done our job well. But also, it's so delighted for individual students. When you look across there, some of the students have had a difficult time over the last few years and have really excelled. Others who've just flown through. And you look at the hard work that they've put in and the outcomes. You know, the grade nine grade was supposed to be pretty much unattainable. In history, to speak of the head of history there, 18% of students in history got the grade nine, the highest grade of L, which is a beyond an A star. Across the board in English and Maths, 30%, nearly a third of the students, got grades between a 7 and a 9. That's between an A and a beyond A star. 30% of the cohort. That's phenomenal. And it shows that we, we, we encourage all children to believe. We believe in excellence for all. And we've seen great progress from those really students who struggled but have managed to achieve. And we've seen fantastic progress for those who've really excelled in their academic work. And that's what we want to see, all children achieving success at HGS.